You ever feel like it might be nice to go live somewhere else, like, say, on an alien planet? <laughs> um, sometimes I feel like that. <laughs> With today's pour, I'm trying to kind of explore using the technique such as the Dutch pour to create an alien kind of planetary environment. Um, I wanted to create, you know, this kind of otherworldly alien planet yeah, using this Dutch pour technique. That was my game plan. Um, I actually did a, a few things differently, like uh, the, the paint that you see that I'm using there is Rust-Oleum Metallics and Harbor Sky, and it's a beautiful kind of metallic, kind of grayish blue, and I added a little bit of Amsterdam graphite to it, and it gave this really kind of cool sheen, and as you can see, even when it's blown around, it kind of it kind of starts to develop its own patterning and own shading in on itself even. It's, it's so um, kind of metallic and pretty. It has such a cool patina to it. Um, but my game plan for that was to use mix because I know the mix that I had I needed to use up some um, I have a, a new bottle but this was the end of a bottle and I actually used it as pouring medium and I knew it would kind of make the paint kind of thinner for this Dutch style uh, blowout and when you see me do this Dutch blowout um, I'm not really this Dutch pour style blowout I, I'm not really doing it like a traditional Dutch pour. I'm really just trying to get some cool um, shapes from it and blowing it in different directions to kind of create this alien landscape or this alien environment. And I'm using colors like uh, blues. I think I have a Venetian blue there that you see and I'm using a flash, flash white which gives kind of iridescent kind of quality. Um, reflects kind of blues and pinks in it and then that's my more like uh, lighter blue um, I'll, I'll leave the colors in the description box because I did a lot of custom colors in this piece um, and so I had more of like a turquoise kind of blue and then that was my light sky blue I think that's an Amsterdam uh, sky blue and so here you see me blowing it out and the paints were really thin they might have been a tad thinner even the paints that I used, I probably should have thickened them up just a tad. Um, but I like kind of what I'm seeing and the results that I get from this with using the mix pour um, in the base. I think it, in the end it ends up doing exactly what I want. And so to explain more about what I want, make a long story longer, uh, we're doing a May the 4th Be With You uh, collaboration. So it's really a Star Wars themed collaboration coming up and I'm trying to do this alien landscape using the Dutch pour to create this uh, so that I have something to embellish like I want to create this kind of landscape background to put maybe some characters from Star Wars in there I'm I was um, drawn to be part of the light side for this collaboration so I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna get some of these light side characters uh, incorporated in here. So that's what you see me doing. I'm trying to blow this around to give myself this landscape where these kind of um, characters can be put in here or there. So if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. <laughs> this is what you see me doing over and over again. I'm just very not really that happy with what I was seeing kind of blow out. So I think this is what, number three. <laughs> and sometimes it takes that kind of uh, persistence. And I think on this one, I get more of what I want. And I was trying not to disturb that little outcropping with the cells on it that was just below that because um, I didn't really I didn't want to lose that I really liked that and you see right there I just blew over near it but I didn't luckily I didn't lose it um, and so I think I leave it here and kind of 
I'm gonna embellish, uh, I'm trying to get some paint goobers out of there, but I'm gonna embellish this a little bit, use my stir stick and pull some of the lines out here and there of these shapes and trying to create this kind of, what I love about this graphite color, that metallic kind of harbor sky um, by Rust-Oleum is between that and the graphite and you know a couple I think the pearlescent kind of flash white color uh, some cells started to pop up and some real fine lacing started to pop uh, up and show up in this and I really liked it and it shaded the you know that rust-oleum harbor sky slash graphite color into looking like rocks and like outcropping of rocks and I, I really thought that was pretty cool and it gave me ideas about kind of like almost like you're looking inside a cave of rocks and on different levels of these you know outcroppings I could put maybe certain characters from Star Wars or try to do my um, you know embellishments of Star Wars characters in those areas so in the very end of this video I'll show you through the magic of Photoshop some you know tongue-in-cheek playing around with it ideas where I plunk some of the characters in there just to kind of give you an idea of what I might try to do for the May the 4th Be With You collaboration. And actually that collaboration is being um, organized by It's Art by Donna M. Donna M is organizing that. We love her. Um, it should be a fun collaboration. It's definitely going to push me to like do some more of my fine arts um, work and try to get um, I want to try to do some of the characters more realistically in places, kind of try to um, make them look kind of naturally like they're, you know, sitting on rocks or standing on the top of outcroppings of rocks or, um, I don't know, I'll play around with it and see. And who knows, I mean, I like this style of the Dutch pour to do this, so I may even pour another one and do that. Um, use that one or I may use this one I don't know um, but anyways this is the technique and I do feel like it gave me some really cool unusual otherworldly almost alien like landscape um, shapes and images so I think here I'm taking you down and there you can see it's like there's some of those cells that you see yeah there it created some really cool unusual shapes and cells and uh, shading I'm kind of excited to be doing this uh, Friday Fluid Art Fun Train with three of my friends, Tiffany Remine, Cynthia Porter of Cynthia Porter Studios, and Donna M with It's Art by Donna M. They'll all be on this train with me today on Fridays. And if you missed Tiffany's video, she was at 6.45 Eastern Standard Time. I'm, of course, at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Right after me will be... Cynthia Porter Studios. Cindy is at 7.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And It's Art by Donna M. will be at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please check them out. Uh, I think this is really going to be a fun lineup. Um, they're all good dear friends of mine and wonderful fluid artists. And very excited about this lineup. And it should be a fun kind of collaborative lineup weekly of we four artists and I'm very excited about that. So check back with us each Friday for some Friday fluid art fun. Now I'm showing you close-ups of how cool the shapes are and cells are that started popping up in uh, this piece and how interesting and unusual those shapes are that are creating my alien kind of rock 
outcroppings, almost like you're in a rock kind of cavern on some kind of alien planet. And the sparkle is really nice with all the metallics that are in this piece. Uh, I think it's going to look really cool when it is uh, varnished. And just wanted to kind of show you those close ups there. Now, if you like this video and found it somewhat entertaining or somewhat educational, please hit that like button. And when you do, please subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you'll be alerted when I post new videos. And also leave me a comment because I really want to hear from you. I want to hear what you like, maybe what you didn't like or what you'd like to see in future videos. Now, as I promised in the beginning of this video, through the magic of Photoshop, I'm going to show you some characters, kind of how I would position them within this, just to get an idea of where I might plunk them in uh, when I go to paint them. And so as you can see, here's Princess Leia I'm going to some old school Star Wars, and uh, she's just chilling and hanging out. And here's R2-D2 and C-3PO, and they're just hanging out as well getting an idea of you know kind of where I could position them within or you could just use this painting this painting would make just a really nice piece of art on a wall um, it is really beautiful I think um, I like the movement through it it's pretty dynamic looking and and as always thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel and I can't wait to see you again for some more fun pouring together